Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Wanted to share with you another altered mixed media canvas that I made. This is a 10 by 10 deep edge canvas. I did quite a bit of layering on this. So much layering that my original background, I don't even think you can see it all anymore. <laughs> um, I started off um, headed in a very different direction than where I ended up, which I guess happens to a lot of us. I, my original idea was to have this have kind of a pink and black theme. I'm, I made it for my daughter's girlfriend whose birthday is this week, and they dance together. They they dance almost every day. They're, um, they just love to dance, and um, my daughter's girlfriend is very passionate about it. So, um, but my the pink and black thing didn't didn't come out so I ended up with this the end result I'm very very happy with though I uh, used so a lot of papers in the background um, I used some vellum paper which really wrinkled up when I put the decoupage on it um, but again you can hardly see it but you can see little hints of it here and there I used Christy Tomlinson's uh, the flowers cut out from one of her 12 by 12 pieces of paper from her She Art line. And just fussy cut all those out, decoupage those on there. Did a lot of um, embellishing with permanent ink with stamps, um, with some permanent pens with black and white rub ons. And let's see what else. I cut the image of the ballerina out from an image I printed off the computer. I cut her out and then I actually inked her with a little bit of um, additional black ink just to kind of make her really solid black because my print she wasn't quite as dark when she came off the printer. And then I used a, a, a white pen and some white rub-ons on her as well. Did a lot of doodling in the end to outline all the all of the images and I also, let's see here if I can lift this up. I'm going to actually lift my light source so I can hopefully show you in a little more detail. Um, I used the Faber Castell Pit Artist pens to not only blend the paper piecing into the canvas around the edges, but I also used them to do a bit of coloring on the flowers and in the leaves. I added this saying, and it says, don't be afraid to be amazing. She really is an amazing dancer, um, but she's very modest as well. So she's a sweet, sweet girl. And then in the end, I never quite know when to stop with these canvases. I like, I'm adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff. And then I get to a point, I'm like, okay, I think we need to be done. But a couple of the things I added at the end were these these butterflies I cut in half. They were rub-ons, and then there's these up here were flowers I kind of cut up. But there's some more butterflies over here. So I put the butterfly rub-ons on and colored them with the Pit Artist pens, but they were very, very matte in their appearance, and they didn't seem to blend into the canvas. So I took some of the... Glimmer Glam, the Tattered Angels, I think it's called Glitter Glam, and in the Pixie Dust, and I painted that over where I had put those rub-ons on, and wow, it just made them blend right into the canvas, and then also gave them a little bit of color and shine, and then I really like the way that they look now. And then the last thing I did is I added four of these, oh, there it is. These were little rosettes. I added one there and a couple up here and one in the bottom. These were little white rosettes. They were from the Tim Holtz, um, some Tim Holtz ribbon. It, it was a stream of, a, a little string of rosettes. And so I colored those. I actually had those in my stash already colored, but they kind of fit right in. And I wanted a little bit of three-dimensional something on there. So I added those. And then I also, the edges are also done. Don't know, here we go. And each edge is pretty much the same. It says, live, love, 
lap dance and they go right it goes right around the border and you can tell this is a little bit more pink and black um, I brought some of the colors in from the top of the canvas but yeah all four sides are the same and then I think I'm also going to tie some pink tulle in a bow up from the top and then she can either hang it from that bow or she can hang it directly from the back of the canvas onto the wall. But we're going to give it to her in a couple days. I can't wait. I, I really hope she likes it. And I'm going to be making one more this week, a little bit different um, for another friend of the family that actually does some crafting with us. So we have lots of birthdays this week, lots of things to be making. Oh, phone's ringing. Gotta go. Have a great day.